Senator Malcolm Byrne, welcome to Two Talk Two. To start with, can you tell me, do you think education gets enough priority in the political system? Uh, thank you, Jim. I think it is. I think it is regarded as a priority. I think the challenge is there's so many competing priorities. Uh, there's housing, there's healthcare, there's obviously we're coming out of the pandemic, uh, there's Brexit. But I think there is a view that higher education and research will help us through that period. If we're going to solve all of these national problems and indeed contribute towards solving global problems like climate change, there is a realisation that we have to invest in this space. Technology these days is, I suppose, advancing at a, a, a very rapid pace. Do you think higher education is doing enough to respond to that? Well, higher education institutions, like the rest of us, had to adapt very quickly over the last period. And plans and technological adaptation that universities would have had for five, ten years suddenly had to be uh, reduced into a five to, to ten week period. But because of the rapid pace of change of technology with artificial intelligence, machine learning, biometrics, blockchain, uh, we're all going to need to upskill and reskill. And it's essential that universities are playing their part in that space. Well, you've referenced COVID there. What have you missed most during COVID, cinema or theatre? Uh, both, but I'm a big theatre fan, so I, I'm looking forward to getting back in to see uh, a live performance. Uh, and of course, you've been known to act yourself on occasion as well. Um, your political hero, Malcolm. Uh, Sean Lamas, I think he opened up Ireland in so many ways, uh, economically and socially, but also in terms of uh, the how he extended the hand of friendship into the North. And finally, your motto for life. Uh, my motto for life, I think I'd adapt the George Bernard Shaw phrase, which was often used by the Kennedys. Some people like to see things as they are and ask why. I prefer to see things as they could be and ask why not. What a good motto. Senator Malcolm Byrne, thank you for doing Two Talk Two. Thank you, Jim.